Hello everyone, my name is Hilal. I would like to invite you to my studio to watch and learn watercolor paintings. This channel is for the absolute beginner to intermediate levels of the artist who really wants to learn and improve watercolor skills. Today I am going to show you how to paint seagulls in a very easy and simple way. So let's start. I am damping the area where I am going to paint. I'm starting paint in this area. Starts paint light as light. I am mixing burnt umber with lavender. When paint on damp paper, it gives a very soft and fresh look. I will lift up some color for a few feather definition after dry a little bit in this area. Now paint head and neck shadows area with cooler tones. Leave the eye areas. Soften this area. There are some color bounds from the ground to her body. My reference picture having a wooden floor, but I am changing it to wet sand. Her chest bounds color mixing with your locker, burnt umber, and lavender. Painting more dark tones, neck areas. Painting bigger strokes and trying to keep a softer look. Need to give some head structure definition in this area.
Now time to lift off some color to give a few further definition. using cadmium yellow for her beak. Now paint hotel areas. And leave some areas so later I can soften and blend for further definition. using damp brush for soft in this area. Using very thick paint and mixing with lavender and neutral tint for her wing shadow area. I always keep cleaning my brush with clean water and using a damp brush for softening and blending. Always be passionate about good work.
paint to very gently some areas to give a few further definition. I am lifting off again for more details. I am pointing my brush like this to paint the eye area. Also paint the big area now. Mixing with your locker and barcena for the big shadow areas. Now paint the background area. Remember as I mentioned earlier, I am changing the background to sand instead wooden floor. Damping the paper with clean water before paint sand and background area. I am using a Chinese oriental brush for painting sand areas. Using this brush because it holds lots of pigment. For the sand area, I am mixing with yellow ochre, neutral tint, and lavender. Some parts of these videos I speed it up to keep the videos less shorter. Making a larger puddle of pigment so I could paint a bigger area and keeping the same tones. Using a damp brush and some bigger dry strokes to fade the upper areas for the distance.
this sand color should get darker when coming to closer Keep a very soft and smooth look. Her chest areas are darker than sand, so no worries to paint over her. Soften this area before it gets very dry. I am using very thick pigment for some darts on the ground. Just paint randomly. Some bigger strokes here and there. I'm also lifting up some areas for more dark looks and creating some random textures as well. There are some sharp sunlights around this area.
Now paint her main shadows on the ground with cool colors. I am mixing with French ultramarine, neutral tint, lavender and a pinch of cobalt blue for shadows. Using very thick pigment for the shadow. Now time for finishing touches. I am damping this area to paint some more feathers definition.
There are some sun lights on our food that I missed earlier. So I'm using very thick pigment to create that light. So that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and set a notification button for new videos. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.